Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys um, how to um, create um, AdMob video ads, the newest, the, the updated way to create AdMob video ads. So this project will, be, will only work for people using um, Sketchware Pro version 6.40 beta 6. 6.4 so if you don't have this out the download link will be in the link description so you will get the latest version of the app okay of the sketchware app so let's get to work so download the um add mob um, video ads um, just go to Zito's project store made it easier for everyone just go to um Zito's project store um go to home at home then click on home you click on add more video ads so we'll click on add more video ads and um, we just download the project we we'll wait for it to download when the download is complete we'll go back to our sketch where we'll click on this icon here restore project so when we'll click on it we we'll have to go back back so now we're going to look for zito's project which is right here zito's project then we're going to click on project files which is right here then we're going to click on add more video ads which is right here so we'll select it guys and you can see add more video ads is right here so let's create this project guys So first and first, we have to create a new project. Um, we are going to be naming it um, Add More Video Ads. So we'll create the project. So once we create the project, we have to go back again. We have to click on this icon here. When we click on this icon here, we'll click on Configuration. We we'll set the minimum SDK version to um, um a 19 and the maximum to 30 but i would love to use um 50 okay we'll save it we'll click on settings here we'll click on advanced settings we'll change our package name you know when you don't change your package name if there's any application already using that same name your app will replace that app that's what this package name is all about so i'll change my project name you save and exist so what we are going to do now is we are going to open the project now so i just love to use this linear force so linear v height is match parent and length should be match parent then i'll give it um some oriental linear layout so i want my button to be at the center that's why i gave it that layout. i'm going to bring up my button so when button is clicked, what should happen? When this button is clicked, what should happen? So when this button is clicked, um, so when this button, sorry, when this button is clicked, we have to go to our blocks. So I'm going to bring out our. Um, we're going to bring out our AdMob block. So if you don't have this block, this AdMob block, if you don't have this AdMob block right here. Just click on this icon right here. Go to Developer Tools. Go to Block Manager. Then just type um, Add Mob. Just give it the name of your, any name of your choice. Add Mob. I will choose a color from here. Purple. Save. As you can see, this is the name I just created right here. So I'm going to open the name. So what we're going to do next? Let's just head on to Zito's project store. So this is my project store. So the store link will be in the link description. It's in Google Play Store. So we'll go to blocks, blocks. They are going to be looking for AdMob um, at JSON. So we we'll have to download the AdMob at JSON. So we're going to click on download to download the AdMob at JSON. So after we've downloaded the AdMob at JSON, we're going to go to um. We're going to go back to our sketch way. Now we're going to click on this icon here. So we're going to go to import block. So we're going to be looking for Zito's project 
so if you can't find this those projects you could go click here to go back to check so if you can't find those projects you go there to check so we'll look for this those projects which is right here we'll open it then we'll look for blocks we'll click on blocks then we'll click on add mob and all add json um so we'll check it then we'll select then we'll select all then as you can see this is these are all the blocks so I'll be deleting this block right now. Mm -hmm. Remove permanently because I already have it here. So then we'll go back. They will be able to find the block right here. Okay, right here. So if you can still find it after you've done that, very easy. Just um, save and exist the project and reopen the project. Then go back to your unboxing click. Then we'll find the project right there so on button click now what should happen some of you may be confused so you know brought out this button then you were here right so click on this event event on button click so when button is clicked when that button is clicked what should happen so we'll go to our add more block So when this button is click, we we'll look for it is written rewarded video. This is for the more block. So this is for the rewarded video. So what we're going to show, we're going to show the rewarded video ads when that button is clicked. After we show the rewarded video ads, we're going to load the rewarded video ads. So uh, where are we loading the ads? The ads will be loaded in this. In this, in, make sure the ads should be loaded in that activity you are in. So this activity, I think, is the main activity. So uh, yes, the main activity. So when the rewarded video gets complete, like when the rewarded video is complete, this is where you can add your points and other things. So if you want me to do a video on how you can add points, just give me a comment on the on down below. So when rewarded video is complete, what should happen? Then you should toast a message. Go to components. You should toast a message points added okay so you should toast the message that point is added so now let's go back now let's go to event now let's go to more block more block down here click on this plus sign right here so we're going to add our more block we're going to add our more block guys so what I'm going to do now, we're going to name it extra or anything. I'll just name it EX. Extra. So I'm going to add. I'm not doing any other thing. So after I've added it, I go back. So I open it. So what I'm going to add here. We're going to add a block in this extra. We're going to add in this block right here. There. So, we go to add more look for video. Okay. So, we're going to be adding this right here. Our app ID. So, on the intent. On um, add show full screen. On rewarded video failed to load. Um, on, I'm sorry, on the video failed to show and on the video dismiss after finish. Okay. So this is another important place. So what is going to happen here right now is I don't need to do the toast messages right here. So once we have done this we're going to click on this um, icon right here and um, this place um, to set our um, activity we want it to ha um, happen in which is the main activity then we're going to um, get our um, rewarded video app ID so if you have a um, AdMob account so you know how to and you don't know you know how to get your app ID so but for those who doesn't know how to get their app ID um, I'll do a video for that 
but for now we'll be using Google Ads test ID and um, we'll be using Google test ID so add mob test ID we'll open it like Google is going to give us test ID so I'm working on a rewarded video right so I have to copy the ad own ID right here so we're going to paste it right here so once we've done that we'll go back now we'll head on to our on create on creating the activity just click on this activity here go to on creating the activity so on creating this activity go back to our add more block on creating this activity what should happen? We are going to what again? Load rural video ads, then add our test device. Okay. Make sure you always add this or add our test device, okay? Um I'll just type any one of my choice. So after I type any one of because of the tutorial, so I'll type them on my choice like I said. So after this now, what we're going to do next, we have to go to um, our um, library, our library, um, app compact and design, we have to switch it on. Then we have to go to um, switch on our add more one. So let me just show you how I integrated, sorry, sorry. So we have to switch on um, our add more one. Let's just redo this. So how I did this, just go to my um my video on how to create a mobile and ads if you don't know how to do this. Or for the tutorial sake, let me delete this, delete this, delete this. So what we are meant to put here is only our banner ads and um interstitial ads. That's what we are meant to put here. But since we are not integrating it in this particular app, so we could just type anything of our choice. Anything. But if we're going to be using um doing ad mob and um, if we're going to be doing banner and interstitial, we'll be using the real ID. So I'll do another video on how to create ad mob and banner at interstitial and what is video in one app. So save and exist. Next, edit, edit, save. Okay. So When we are done with that, the next thing we are going to do now is to run our app. We have to run our app. We have to run our app. So guys, I will be showing you guys how to get your um, your device advertising ID. So we are not done yet. We are not done yet. After we test the app and um, the ads and it's working, I want to show you guys how to get your device advertising ID. So let's install to see if it's going to work. So it's installing guys. Let's open it. Now um, let's click on the button to see what's going to happen. Oh sorry, I clicked so much. Let us click on the button to see if our ads is going to pop up. Nothing yet. This is a rewarded video test ad. Nice job loading it. I'm going to go fire the reward callback for you. As you can see, guys, it said point added. As you can see, so let's cancel this now. So to get your device advertising ID, it's very easy. Just go to the setting of your phone. Depending on your mobile phone, I don't know the phone you're actually using. Just go to your um, the, your, advertise, your device settings. Click on the um, Google icon right here. When you click on the Google icon right here, so after we click on the Google icon, we're going to click on ads. After we click on ads, we are going to then okay, then we are going to write down our advertising ID. So that our advertising ID is what we are going to be pasting. Is what we are going to be pasting on this on create. This is what that we're going to be pasting here instead of this rubbish that I wrote. We're going to be pasting it there and also we are going to be pasting it here. 
we're also going to be pasting it here we we'll click on this add here we we'll have to replace it with this so we we'll have to clean this we we'll also paste it here okay so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment if you have any question chat me up on telegram on whatsapp love you guys bye